What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Uh, you guys have been enjoying the bass lessons, and uh, don't worry, I'm not like joining the dark side like some of the comments have said, but these are great, just beginner basics for you guys, whether you're a guitar player or trying to get into bass. We're gonna do a little walking bass line now, super versatile over major chords and uh, seven chords, like bluesy chords, but also straight major chords. I think it's a really, really important device to know, and uh, let's do it. So in the intro, I was basically focusing on a 12 bar blues, but this is a device that's gonna work for every major chord and every uh, dominant seven chord, which is like a major chord with a blues note in it. Uh, so once again, it's gonna be important to know the roots. Uh, that's the very first thing you should work on as a bass player, I think, is starting to learn the notes, especially on the E and the A string. Um, if you can walk with both fingers, alternating notes, that's a great thing to practice if you really wanna get into bass. I'm not that great at it, but I know enough to teach it to you. Um, I used a pick in the intro, which you can do as well, because um, we're just trying to play right now. So this is the device. So if I set an E chord, an E major chord, or an E7 chord, I look for the root. So for E, it's an open E. And any major chord or seven chord, you can do this device. And it's a major arpeggio is basically what you would call that. So if I have the root, which is open, then I'm sliding from two to four on the E string, and then I'm going two, four on the A string, and then it hits the octave of E, meaning another E note, on that D string second fret. So, oh, four, two, four, two, back to A, four, two, four, oh, and then you just want to keep repeating that. Now, something about that though, as you get more used to it, any of those notes will work in any combination. You wanna start that downbeat with the low root. You always wanna do that as bass, I mean, or 95% of the time. But any of those other notes of that device, So that's how you start to come up with little bass lines, but you always want to be. Or same, the roots on those. One, two, three, four, two, 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 one, two, three, right? So now let's talk about a non open string, that same arpeggio. So for A, we have the fifth fret on the E string. And so the device looks like this. So I'm just calling this A7, like in a blues. You'd hit the root, and then you'd go up a whole set step, but slide a whole step from there. So I'm sliding from seven to nine on that E string. And then seven to nine on the A. And then that seven on the D, which is the root again. So root. Nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, five, nine, dun, 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 Now for B, I'm gonna play the exact same move, but with the root on the B note, 
which starts on the seventh fret. So I'd go seven and then nine up to 11. Nine, 11, nine, 11, nine, 11. So what happens is when it takes up less amount of time, like you just don't finish that device. You just play part of it. As long as you're hitting that root on the one. And that's a B note right there. For that turnaround note, I just happened to get back here. But the turnaround we could do for my 12 bar blues lesson, which is just open four, five, six, seven, 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 E. 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 Get ready for A. Let's do something that's more uh, like a rock kind of thing. Uh, how about they were all major chords? C, G, D, A, E. Now as a beginner bass player, holding down the roots is, is a good way to go. Uh, here are the chords again. C to G, so that's three, three, C, G, then up a whole step, D, all major chords. So if I use this new walking device, C, I can't go all the way up because of the timing. Do, two, three, four. Then the same thing from G. Then from the D. Then from the A. And then the E. That's an E right there and that's an E. So. So the 12th fret, that's the octave. So if I hit an E, the octave's on the 12th fret of whatever open string. All right, let's take another progression with the same device, E, E, E. e. Uh, we'll do it all on the E string. E, 10th fret to D, 5th fret to A, back to E. Starts over on E, D, A, E. So check out, we can do it all on the E string, sorry. D. A. E. So 
check it out, uh, some of the stuff I was doing was improvising within that arpeggio. Then D. See, I can take a little piece of it. And instead of keeping... Keep going up, I can go... Go back down. Start messing with that and you'll, you'll have a lot of fun and uh, you just got to stay with it to get better. All right. Thanks again for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music. Any comments uh, that you'd like to leave like requests or words of encouragement to me or other people as well. Leave them in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thank you again. We'll see you later.